Guild Wars 2 announces a new expansion, DC Universe Online finally releases its highly anticipated stat revamp, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, Mad Otter Games has announced a brand new expansion for their free to play MMO, Villagers and Heroes. Starfall will add 7 new zones in all, however only 4 of these will launch the day the expansion releases, the rest will come later. In addition to the new zones, the expansion will raise the level cap to 90 and offer a 5th rebirth for high level players. Luckily, what is said to be the game's most ambitious expansion to date will be completely free for both PC and Android players. For those of you waiting for Funcom's free to play Secret World Legends to arrive onto Steam, your wait is almost over. On July 31st, you'll be able to download and run the game through Steam. If you already have a Funcom version installed, you'll most likely want to uninstall that version so each don't conflict with each other, but other than that, it should be smooth sailing. A plus to this is that Steam wallet currency can be used for purchases, and Steam just in general is much better than Funcom's own launcher. All I want to know is how many will actually be playing the game through Steam. Should be interesting to see those statistics via Steam stats in the coming weeks. Now that it's releasing on Steam soon, will you be playing it? Leave me a comment down below. The final episode of the third season of ArenaNet's free-to-play MMORPG Guild Wars 2's Living Story is now live. Episode 6 marks the end of the story arc that began last year and introduces a new zone and new legendary weapons. In order to check it out, you'll need the Heart of Thorns expansion. However, that's not all. Just recently, a new expansion for the game was announced. We don't know much about it just yet other than from past rumors, but we'll definitely be finding out more when it's officially revealed on August 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time via their official webpage and social media networks. Hopefully this one won't be as annoyingly vertical. After loads of content releases after their initial announcement of a stat revamp, Daybreak Studios has finally debuted the highly anticipated revamp for their free-to-play MMORPG DC Universe Online. This stat revamp changes all numbers in the game and marks a major update to gameplay balance, combat, and progression. Everything is new, new player stats, new skill trees, new power trees, new NPC stats, and all power sets have been updated. All of this with the goal of providing a new foundation for character progression. As a longtime DC Universe Online player, this update will get me back into the game, and I can't wait to check out all the new content that they released over the past several months. That said, it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked if you guys like playing mobile MMOs. A user by the name of Chris Lois stated the following, Anything on a mobile device has to be simplified to a ridiculous degree. It's unwieldy to control anything with more than two buttons. The tiny screen and limited power of the phone can make a pretty big difference. There are way too many actions you have to do accurately. MMO games are micromanaging games to at least some extent. Even a controller would do a better job than a phone. Thanks for your guys' responses, and this week we're doing a poll, so if you wish to participate in said poll, make sure you leave your thoughts down below. This week's question is, has a revamp ever made you enjoy a game far more than you did before? If so, what game and why? Last up in the news this week, if you've been bored out of your wits, Epic Games Fortnite is officially in early access. Unfortunately, in order to hop into the game, you will need a Founders Pack, but eventually the game will be free to play. Don't know what Fortnite is? Well, it's a cooperative sandbox survival game where you build, defend, and explore. There's of course much more to it than that, but if you wish to know more, be sure to check out their official website. You know what other official website you should check out? MMOBomb.com, of course. Yes, be sure to head on over there, check out the breaking news, smack that giveaways page, bookmark the page, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out till next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.